Welcome to Oracle Application Express Advanced Topics Web Services. A web service is a small piece of code that's exposed over the internet. By themselves, most web services are not complete applications. They perform a very specific task or function. Developers can use these web services strung together to build applications. Once this is done, code reuse goes up a great deal as the functionality encapsulated inside the web services is generic enough to be used over and over again. Web services are independent of development language, application server, or underlying operating system. Organizations can build up web services inside of their repositories. Once these web services are built up, developers can create what are called composite applications by reusing the different web services over and over again. Up until recent versions of Oracle Application Express, you could only consume web services. That means the web service already had to be created and deployed. Once it was available on the internet, Oracle Application Express could then consume that web service and pull information in. In the most recent versions of Oracle Application Express, you can now create your own web services. In order for you to create web services in Oracle Application Express, a certain architecture is needed. Please review the previous lesson on different Oracle Application Express architectures to fully understand what's needed inside your organization to have that capability. Let's go ahead and create a web service reference that we can then use inside of our application. If we go under Shared Components and then click Web Service References and then click Create, we can create a reference to a web service that exists somewhere on the web. There are two basic architectures for web services. One is called REST, which stands for Representational State Transfer, and the other is called SOAP, which stands for Simple Object Access Protocol. SOAP-based web services use something called WSDLs. A WSDL is a file that describes the web service. WSDL stands for Web Services Description Language. We're going to use that as part of our example. So I'm going to create a web reference based on a WSDL. I have the option of searching something called a Universal Description Discovery and Integration Registry. This is a way for large organizations to keep track of all of their different web services and organize them. I'm not using a UDDI registry for this example, so I'm going to click Next. Next, I'm asked for a WSDL location. I happen to know of a web service that's freely available that has weather information based on zip code, so I'm going to use that. Once I click Next, Oracle Application Express reads information from that WSDL, and it's smart enough to figure out that there are three basic operations inside of this web service. One is called Get Weather Information, one is called Get City Forecast by Zip, and another one is called Get City Weather by Zip. I don't have to worry about which one I'm going to use right now. When the time comes for me to actually place this web service reference on a page, it's at that moment that I'll go and define which one of these operations I want to use. Now that I've created the web service reference, I can use it anywhere inside of my application. I can also click these buttons on the top right of the screen to create a form or a form and report based on the web service. I'm going to create a form on the web service. I called my web service weather, and I'm going to build a form based on the get forecast by zip. I'm given a new page number, a new page name, region name, template information. Apex is smart enough to read the information about our web service and know that there's an input parameter expected by the web service. It's also smart enough to know that it's called zip, so it's going to create an input field on my form where I can input the zip code and then get the information back from the web service. It also knows that the web service is going to return a lot of information. Under normal circumstances, I would probably hide most of the information that the web service is retrieving from my end user. Just for demonstration purposes, I'm just going to display everything that the web service returns. The final page asks me if I want to use a tab, and then finally I have a confirmation screen at the end. So a form on the web service reference has been created successfully. I can now go in and either edit the page or run the page. I'm going to run the page, and I'm going to input my zip code and click Submit. Oracle Application Express has gone out to the web service and retrieved information and brought it back into my form. There are some diagnostic pieces of information, whether the call resulted in a success, if the city in fact was found, 
the state, city, and weather station city based on the zip code that I entered, the current date of when this was run, a weather ID, and because I executed the process that said get weather forecast, it returns numerous values to me for description, morning low, daytime high, nighttime, and daytime. Each one of these you can think of as being broken up by the different values for the next seven days. In this sense, this web service and all web services in general don't really care about how the information is formatted. It's up to the developers to make sense of the information that's being returned by the web service. In this case, if I were to display all of this information to the end user, it really wouldn't make sense to them. What we'd have to do is take the information that's returned by the web service and format it in a much more readable format. That's a little beyond the scope of what we're doing here in these classes, but I wanted to give you a short introduction into how to call a web service inside of Oracle Application Express.